Can you discern between evil and good? Kidman? Man, what a crash. Welcome back to the consequence. Well, we found ourselves in my least favorite part of the game again, but that's okay. Things should be a bit fresh this time. You know, a new perspective on life, a different viewpoint. I will not be kept here. What the fuck? Maybe I can burn through it. Well, as we know, Rufik is weak to fire, so I guess this will work. It's a very strange obstacle, but okay, sure. Well, I hope you're not afraid of cramped spaces. Help! Help! Leslie! Oh! Well, shit, we gotta get after him. We've got a bullet with his name on it. No, don't risk it. Hold on. I think I see another way down. I'll meet you on a lower level. <sighs> At least they're all right. Please, just stay out of my way. For their sake. Well, that's kind of cool. I'm, I'm glad they gave me a convenient platform to walk across. That was very nice of them. Although accidentally almost crushing Kidman, maybe not so nice. After surviving the fire incident and subsequent abuse from his parents, it's a miracle Reuben can function at all. His work comes from a place that isn't motivated by fear or money or social standing. His motives are more pure. I would say that he is obsessed with the chance to relive and remold reality so he can be with her again. His scarring is heavy, both physically and emotionally, but he longs for his lost sister his love for her borders almost on an incestuous level, but as long as it provides motivation, so be it. Well, it seems Rubik is a little bit more human than we thought. Still not a fan of the guy. But it is a little bit hard to feel bad for him. His experiences didn't really screw him up. He was screwed up before that. But still, it's a bummer, the kind of life he's lived, regardless of his own interests. Oh boy, I hear spookies. You fucking jeez. Okay. It might not be too late. These strange Ruvik portraits, uh, they seem to be trying to infect Leslie with Ruvik's consciousness. So maybe if we act fast enough and solid snake our way through this room, we can, uh, we can put a stop to that.
of course. These gentlemen are not going to be so kind as to get out of our way. Now there's a little weird quirk with these tables that I'm hiding behind. They are... Just barely, just barely too short to hide Kidman's head. So if you're not crouching in cover behind them, the enemies will be able to see you. Thankfully though, we uh, took care of that guy before he became an issue. Not for much longer, hopefully. Now why don't you just fuck off? There is no room for you in Leslie's head. It works. Holy shit. Maybe I can stop Ruvik then. Well, that's odd. Looks like we have found a way to counter Ruvik's meddling. Which I guess I'm pleased about. So maybe not all hope is lost just yet. Let there be stairs. Well, that's not stairs. That's a puzzle room. I really like these safe puzzles. They, I think they, uh, they add a very interesting, like, you know, a little way to distract yourself from the, uh, horrible, horrible things going on in the evil within. I like that they are completely optional. I mean, unless you want to read what the letters say, in which case you kind of have no choice, but if you don't mind about that, then you don't have to solve any of these. Which, I think that's kind of cool. Because if you don't want to solve one, you can just leave. Like, none, none of the, the crazy hard Leslie, puzzles are barriers Leslie, to entry. Are you? Kidman, do you really think he would respond to being yelled at at this point? I think it's safe to say that Leslie is sufficiently freaked out at this point. Although, we've always got room in our hearts for our buddy Pepito. Recording his diary entries, I guess. We've been through a lot. The journey is almost over, canonically. <laughs> we are just about at the end. But you gotta wonder if they're gonna come up with something new and interesting for Kidman to do, even though Sebastian's journey might be just about over at this point. I revisited the Victoriano estate yesterday. It's a vestige, a mere husk of what was bound to be such a home of promise. Mobius reaped nearly everything of value when we took on the research ourselves, but Ruben's notes indicate he was involved in something else. There were plans for another STEM prototype. Data about using receptors to transmit the brain function wirelessly to unaware users. It's borderline parapsychology, but these schematics and the scientific backup provided seem sound. What was he planning to do with such a thing? There's only one way to find out for certain, but I must continue these experiments in private, away from their prying eyes. I will not let them know, lest they take this from me as well. I don't know, Jimenez. I, I would say that keeping stuff from your superiors at this point seems like a pretty bad idea, considering what they did to Ruvik. You don't want to end up as a brain in a jar as well. I should... I should hope. Although, Jimenez is more of a smear on the ground at this point. 
I guess in a way he's gotten his comeuppance, sorta. Yeah. You you just keep doing what you're doing, my friend. Oh. Uh, yeah, juked. Man, I hate these things. They are real creepy. Yeah. Ah, oh, nuts. Fine. Everything's fine. Don't freak out. Whew. We're gonna need to get a key card to get out of here. And I have an unfortunate feeling that it might be past those, uh... I don't know, are they guards? I guess they're kind of guarding things. They're guarding the key card. It's like they know. Like they are aware of uh, what I will need to get out of this room <laughs> and they're like well we can't have that we need more rib cages to eat all the food <laughs> what was that noise Whose footsteps are these? What was that noise? I guess if you want to be more uh, proactive about it, you can huck the bottle directly at the guys and blow them up. But, uh... You don't have to. Kidman's a pacifist. <laughs> After all this killing, you know, all she wants is to just... Settle down back in her luxurious apartment paid for by the Illuminati. Well, they're not the Illuminati, but they're close enough. I think that... I think I want one of these things as a pet. As weird as that is. I think... I think it, I think it would make a good pet as long as you kept it happy. Oh, crap. Well, that's fine. No, Kidman used the key card. <laughs> All right. Now that that's over with, let's get back on track, shall we? Well, we're catching up, sort of. Blah! Fuck you, box. I guess we can consider that segment canonized. <laughs> You're welcome, Sebastian. Oh god, more of them. Oh, this room sucks. <laughs> oh, the layout of this room makes it really, really hard to take care of the enemies in here. But you have to, because it's like, when you start burning the portraits, they'll come running. Now, I know there's another guy on the other side of the room over there. Uh. Thank you for not turning around.
Now why don't we just take care of this before his buddy comes running? Yeah. Oh, Leslie, you're not looking so hot, my friend. Well, great. Now I don't have an axe to take care of the other guy. That's gonna be a, that's gonna be a problem. Oh my God, there's two other guys. You know what? That's fine. If I don't bother him, he won't bother me. I mean, in theory. In practice, it might not work out that way. Also, that other guy, the third guy, his patrol route comes right by the painting. So, uh... You know, we're gonna be hanging out here for a little while. You cannot keep me here. I was considering trying to throw the bottle over the cabinet, but I don't think I would make it if I did. So, uh, we're... We're just gonna wait here until I'm feeling a little bit more brave. Uh-oh. Go away! Thank you. Sheesh. The nerves of some people. Okay. Now, well, he has his back turned. Now is my, my opportunity. <laughs> he really ought to watch where he's running. Although I guess I don't blame him for wanting to get away from the enemies. He could have had a little bit more patience. That's fine. Ah. Uh-oh. Well, back in the vent I go. See, that's the problem with getting too eager. You suffer the consequence. Huh? Consequence for your eagerness. Oh, great. Well, as long as we're quiet. Everything should be fine. Ouch. Ow, my soul. <laughs> oh, that's gotta, that's gotta feel really uncomfortable. It's all right. Everything's gonna be fine. I hope. Maybe it's really not too late. Not safe. Hurry! This way! Is it... over? Leslie, not so good things happened when I followed your lead last time, so, uh, why don't you just stay behind me this time? Where you belong. I hope that bastard doesn't come back. For your sake, Leslie. I mean, don't sell yourself short, Kidman. It's for your sake, too. And also my sake, I guess. Leslie can go home. K. 
can take the train all the way home? No, Leslie. Not today. You'll... protect me? Yes. That's my job. Good, good, good. When I get home, they'll be... surprised. Understand. You don't know what he'll become. We know exactly what he'll become. That's why we need him. You don't understand what Ruvik is after. Ruvik is a corpse! He's after Leslie. And so are we. And you're more afraid of him than us? Don't patronize me. I have orders. But I can't let him have this boy. Leslie is the only one who can... here again, huh? Well, that certainly explains a few things about that cutscene from Sebastian's point of view. I guess Kidman wasn't really arguing with him in the first place. Well, it can't waffle back and forth on whether or not it's too late forever. At some point, they're gonna have to make it definitive as to whether Ruvik has taken over Leslie or not. Although the end of that cutscene does not instill me with confidence. Really not many things are instilling me with confidence at this point. Gotta stop him. Okay, maybe I spoke too soon. I did maybe it actually for real is too late this time. And uh well I guess we're I guess we're at Beacon now. Uh oh. Oh, that's not good. This room is very, very tough to sneak through. <laughs> to the point where it's probably better to just make a break for it. Once you've got a window of opportunity. But I think I can pull this out. I think... I think we're good. Again, just don't panic and we'll be fine. Thank goodness they can't open doors. Answer our questions. What are you afraid of? What could haunt you so? What could you need that only we could be the ones to fill it? No. Was your waste of life Shut something you wish to return to? We were warned about this. We can't let our fear control us, because then Ruvik also controls us. The 
patients are dying when connected to the machine? What are you implying, Jimenez? After what you did to him, now all of this is just conjecture. But it's as if Ruben's consciousness remains trapped inside Stem, and he's attacking anyone attempting to enter. This is inexcusable. We need to get around this. We can't have come all this way for nothing. Ruvik. He was in STEM all along. Well, he's not gonna get me. Damn right he's not. Not if I have anything to say about it anyway. And I am the one behind the keyboard, so, you know. I would say that I have the second most say over what you're doing, Kidman. But why Leslie? What makes him special? Leslie was not always like this. He became catatonic after a traumatic experience as a child. His family was murdered in front of him. The data would suggest that brainwave synchronization with Ruben correlates to specific trauma. In this case, Ruben's own loss of family. This will not do. We need something else at the core. Something more acceptable to a whole range of people. Hmm. I wonder what he could have in mind. They grow impatient with our progress and demand briefings on the development process. At first stressing the results, but now they work off a timeline based on their needs. Typical bureaucrats. I've been pushing Ruben, but he's retreated further, doing his research at home and refusing to come to the lab unless it's directly working on our STEM prototype. I am feeling uneasy, and no doubt Mobius is looking on us with question. Well, I guess that's how Rubik got away with uh, making himself the only one that could use STEM. He just didn't show up for work. And what do you know? There it is. We need someone rational inside STEM. Potentially that person could neutralize Ruben. I mean, Ruvik. With my knowledge of the system, I may be of some... Absolutely not. We can't afford you complicating this any further. We will prepare one of our own. Sending someone inexperienced, we... We can't even be sure they can come back. Then it will need to be someone... Expendable. Expendable. So that's how you see me. And I trusted you. <laughs> Perhaps your trust was a bit misplaced. <laughs> 